Hello, everybody. <laughs> Nearly two years out, and we decided to bring you an absolutely bumper, amazingly, wickedly cool, sick video. <laughs> so, yeah, Georgia Carl, the really good idea. First of all, before you all go into the spasms of writing comments and likes and stuff, you're all going to say to me, Who the fuck is George? <laughs> this is George. This is George in full HD. George, of course, is the new Mrs. Damo. Now, there hasn't been a Mrs. Damo properly. Actually, I don't think there's ever been a Mrs. Damo on YouTube, actually, come to think of it. This is the first ever time. Now, if you have been following on Instagram, you will have seen us on Instagram Live and Facebook Live, because this is the first time we were actually sitting down to do a YouTube video. The first video back, and we bring you something special. <laughs> good boys, really good film. Make sure you go to the cinema and check it out. It's another great bonanza from Seth Rogen, and it had... Bonanza? That's a big word, <laughs> It had me in stitches. So, George has got an idea for today's video, and it's something goes along the lines of... Um, I don't know what the official name is. Fact, Boyfriend, girlfriend, text. Yeah. Finding out things about each other that perhaps you know or you don't know. So, do I know things about George? Does she know things about me? Now, we have only been together just under four months, around about four months. So, we're not going to know everything. I'm sure that as time goes by, we're going to learn more about each other. But at this stage, we might not get all the questions right. But, hey, we're going to have a bloody good go and try and get it right. And I think the... <laughs> The thing is that George is going to start us off with the very, very first question for the <laughs> boyfriend tags. And the question, George, is... Obviously something that makes her laugh. When and where did we meet? So this is quite an interesting one. So obviously many of you know that I'm actually a personal trainer and I do a lot to do with the gym work. And I actually met George sitting outside the gym on the wall smoking a cigarette. <laughs> of all the places that you could actually meet your future girlfriend, you're sitting on the wall having a cigarette, minding her own business, waiting for a taste session that I booked in for that Sunday. Uh, I can remember the exact day, actually. It was the 12th of May, 2019, this year. That's where we met. And it can was you remember about, the day? It was a Sunday morning. It was about 11 a.m., just before that, maybe 10 a.m. I think it was because it was three-hour taste sessions. So I think I've got plus one for that one. Okay. Okay. So, my question for George. Where was our first date? She should know this one, to be fair. Well, you went to that... Indian in town. That Indian. Now there's about Meza? 150. That's the one. Mazza. Yeah. Not Mezza. Mezza's like a Greek restaurant. You can't call it Mezza. Mazza. Where's M -E -E? It's, a, it's a Bengali restaurant. It's a Bangladeshi restaurant. Mm. Okay. What day did we go on it? That Sunday. So that Sunday, in that first day, I met her, held hands, sat in a park, and then took on a date. Go, Damo, really Mr. Creepy. Romantic. That's how it really creepy, <laughs> but that is actually how it came on. So yeah, well done. 1-1. One, one. So the points to draw. George, question number two. When and where was our first kiss? Ooh. Our first kiss was walking George home after that Sunday night date at Mazza. Just before she went down a very long dark alley near the Nan's house, actually, where she was at the time. Yeah, nice. And it was rather. It got better as the days went on. <laughs> yeah, it was very nervous. I remember it being really. At least nervous. she hasn't said where was the first place for sex. Was well, that be quite embarrassing? Yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> oh okay, uh, question uh, four for me. When is Damo's birthday? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> for many of you know, I am. Still quite young. I turned 41 this year. Can you believe this, YouTube? 41 years old this year. 21st of July. Eh. 20th of July. <laughs> too late. Too late. It is the 20th of July, but oh. she gets a point deducted for getting it wrong. But we have to give her that. Even though she celebrated this year's birthday with me, but still got it wrong. But I'll give that one to you, George. I'm the one who surprised okay, you with a birthday party. Question number three from your team. Um, where was I born? In hospital. <laughs> Why did I know you were going to come up with a stupid answer? You was born in MLM Stead, weren't you? I was born in MLM Stead. Oh, man them knows this one, brother. All right, cool. Okay, George, I'm sitting in front of the TV, the 50-inch, right? What's on my screen? It depends. 99% of the time when you see me watching TV, right, what is it that you see on my screen? What is it that I'm going to be watching? Wrestling. WWE! <laughs> John Cena, you can't see me, bitch! <laughs> Alright, question number four coming out of the George stable. We're going to do we're gonna do a total of eight questions, George, so we're halfway through this one now. Okay, let's try and find a good question. A good question. What questions are good? What questions are bad? Only you guys will know. Oh, there's so many questions. <laughs> so many questions, but she only got three of them right and one of them wrong. Shush. So far, Team Dave are winning this Shush. one, baby. Okay, where am I most likely to be on a Friday night and doing the <laughs> Lately in the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> um, on a Friday night, we tend to finish work 
and then we tend to head to the gym and then we tend to come home and have dinner and chill the last couple of weeks we've been going to cinema because it's been the one day where we don't have work at the weekend so we've been out quite late to watch the films that we don't necessarily see yeah. during the week but george is the kind of girl that likes to just chill out she's not really one into a club and going out mad and all that you know she's got too old too quickly basically so not that old. it's all good it's not that good okie dokie Okay, George, what weird talent do I have? <laughs> Your weird talent. I can talent. flick my bogeys out a window and hit You're next disgusting. door's car. <laughs> a weird talent. A weird talent. I don't know. I can fart like earthquakes, That's mate. not really a weird That's a talent. talent. How many people do you know that let out farts like that, I mean, mate? it does sound like there's like an earthquake going on. <laughs> oh, in my that God. Old Question street. six, people. Question six, man. Okay, this will be an interesting one. Will it? So, I'm at, I'm, I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm, at, <laughs> I'm at Starbucks. There's a surprise because she's at Starbucks every fucking day. What but. do I order? Depends on the weather. If the weather's hot, it's a cold blue latte with a shot of syrup, which yeah. is normally vanilla flavour. And if it's or, not, then it's a hazelnut latte, yeah. no cream. <laughs> but that does depend on the season as does well. does depend on the season as well. Of course, Starbucks do do the amazing gingerbread latte, which is coming this Christmas. Yeah. I cannot wait for Christmas. It's only four months away. Of course, we have turkey before, and you'll be seeing our holiday travels in a vlogging format. Can't in wait. less than three weeks time we're going to bring you some high definition shots of antalya so we like cannot wait 19 20 days yeah. something like that teamdemo.com on tour um have i ever played an instrument and if so george which one i kind of let this one slip the other day so, so you, you played should the remember. piano i did i've played more than one instrument what was my main instrument that i used to play so like when i was at <laughs> school i played this one for about five years non-stop I want to say it's like the saxophone or the You're trombone. You're close. Yeah, slide trombone. Well done, yeah. George. Right, question seven. Two more questions, guys. Two more questions, okay. guys, before we get off this video today. This would be a good one. If you could change anything about me, what would it be and Your why? Your hair colour. <laughs> we have this debate all the time, Damo's guys. always been a blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl. She's got the blue eyes, but she just don't have the hair colour. But me, right. personally, I'm not too sure if the blonde would really sort that good looks about blonde. your face. And red and fucking and red pink, and blue green, and... and so yeah, it'd be, it, would, it would be that, um, but again... But that's uh, more of your preference though, isn't it, rather than what would... Oh, right, here's one. What oh, is God. our song? Truly. We have, it is truly by a line in which he taken off of his infamous 1982 album. But then you truly, have got a song... Truly, truly in love with you, girl. <laughs> but then there is a song that you sent me when I was feeling a little bit down, which is You by... Is it the black cherry, Blackstone cherry? Blackstone cherry, baby, great American band. If you ain't listened to it, go to your favourite streaming platform and listen to them because they're amazing. Definitely. Right, last two questions after this one, right? Yeah, so I'm going to do one. one, and then we've got two more after that. Okay. Uh, who is the organised one in this relationship? So if it comes at down home to like, or at work? in general, just like overall, like who is the most organised one in this relationship? You. 100%. Although saying that, I do all your bookings and your calendar. But this is the privilege of being a business owner is the fact that you, like, you get to be more organised with your time and things and money. I actually don't go out and spend money like you would normally. So, oh. Okay, last two questions, people. Stay tuned. George, okay. your last question. Make a good one. You can bring this in. So far, it's 7-6 to me. Can you bring this in and, and oh win gosh. this battle of the oh, sexes? Mm. What's it gonna be, George? What's it gonna be? Okay, on our cheat meals. So when I have on a very, very rare cheat meal, this isn't on this list, by the way. George has two cheat meals a week for those of you that think mm. she's lying. Okay, if you think she's lying, leave it in the comments below. Right, I'd be interested. No, to see one your... of them cheat meals is popcorn. When we go to the cinema, that's different. But generally, when we're having like a cheat meal or a cheat day, which could be like a Saturday or a Sunday, what would I normally have? Up until we had a fallout with Nando's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they took true. my discount off of me, right? So I am boycotting Nando's and Emma Lempstead. I'm not going anywhere near you. But from you start to finish of my day, from the mo moment I wake up, what meals would I so have? So we'd have a fully English breakfast down at a local Caf Martins, because we kind of love that, and that'd be washed down with two lattes and two cans of Dr Pepper. Mm -hmm. um, and then it would either be Chinese Thai, something like that, or it might be that depends a if we cook Burger it well. King Whopper meal oh. with unlimited soda because that's how we work. heavy pickle heavy mayo heavy pickle All heavy mayo as Burger King say do it your way yeah and the last question for me so make it a good one it's eight sorry seven 
seven all right now, so I need to win this one to come out. I don't think he should win <sighs> Okay. Or we'll just make one up like I did. What is my nickname? Chelsea boy. Damo. Not John bad. motherfucking <laughs> Cena. Do you know how many people stop me around the world and say, you are John Cena. But then people also I've had like, people in like my town centre like asking me to it. sign autographs as John Cena. <laughs> we got on the bus the other day and five, six people must have been like, oh my God. Is that the so scary thing is that he shares the same birthday and the same year as me. Right, so that wraps up the boyfriend girlfriend tag. Thank you very much, Jonathan. I win that by eight to seven, George. We got one wrong. So Team Damo is winning. Thank you for joining us for our first ever video back. We hope it was enjoyable, amusing pile of shit whichever one you think of yeah but uh, i'm sure that george and i will be back again very very soon with another new upload of course if you haven't done so already please hit that big subscribe button i know a lot of the old youtubers that used to follow us are still follow us on the channel so thank you very much leave a comment below let us know you've watched it let us know what things you want us to bring to the channel and until next time have a very very great time watching the rest of the old videos that were here before see ya bye